Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Ivy M. This is my natural everyday summer makeup. So I've already went ahead and toned my skin and also put some chapstick on because my lips were getting a little crusty. Today all I have to do is go out and run some errands. I'm going to be traveling very soon so I need to pick up some last minute um, travel essentials. That's the plan for today. First I'm going to go in with my SPF 50. This is the Anessa sunscreen. I like to just put it on my hand like that and then use my fingers and just smear it. Okay, so next I'm going to put on this Rare Beauty foundation and I honestly didn't like it the first time I used it and then I put it aside but then I found out how you're supposed to use it. Uh, make sure you shake it before you use it. I did not know that you had to do that. And then also I found out that if I mixed it with the Anessa sunscreen and used the sunscreen first then it wouldn't come off as dry on my skin and it would kind of give it like a light dewy look which I love for the summer. Literally all I do is I, I, t I open it, make sure it doesn't drip anywhere and then I just smear it on my my hand like that and then i'm going to take my fingers again and i just love using my fingers for application i think if i use my brushes i break out much easier so by using my fingers i can like really control where the product is going foundation is the longest process for me because i do this method and it takes a century I would say this foundation is a very light to medium coverage, which I love because if you use like a really heavy foundation every day, your skin gets tired and I realize that when I do put on a really heavy foundation, I get tired really easily. So like events like prom and like school dances, by the end of like the third hour, I'm just like so tired because it literally feels like I have a mask on my face and I don't normally look like that. So it's like I'm trying to like embody someone else. But anyway. So now that our foundation is on and it's like a very smooth and even application, I actually have like so much product left on my skin. Like that's just, I didn't even like mix it. I just pulled it out and put it on my skin and that's how much product there is left. I'm not sure if you can tell on camera. But next what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my eyeshadow. The eyeshadow that I use is this Chanel Undertone Ombre Prime Premier. It is a cream eyeshadow and the reason why I love it so much is because you can use your fingers and you can use a brush. It's just so much easier to use in my opinion than like a powdered eyeshadow because it's cream so you can really move it around. When I go to school, this is the only one I use on my eyes. So I take like a round fluffy brush like this one and then I dip it in and then I'm just gonna go in and go all over my eyelid like this. And like I do it like super messy too, like it doesn't even matter. And then it just gives you like the softest, lightest bit of color on your eyelids. And I love it. The next thing I'm gonna do is go in with my eyeliner. And I use two types of eyeliners. I have this Stella eyeliner. It doesn't say Stella anymore because I rubbed it off. But you can get this at Sephora. I get the one with the double ends. So this one is the thicker end. And then you have the thinner, tinier, more precise than on the other side. It's like about $30, I think. And then I also use one of these brushes with powder. I'm going to go in with my powder first. The powder I'm going to use is from the Tom Ford Disco Dust Palette. It's this like dark brown shade. If you have brown or black, I recommend just using those. And I'm going to take my super tiny e.l.f brush it's called a small smudge brush i think you can get this at like target i'm just gonna dip it into the brown here and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna line my lash line with this one i started doing this when i saw it on like tiktok like i follow like those like korean beauty influencers and they are always tight lining their lash line so then i started doing it with this Okay, so I know that doesn't look like it made a big difference, but I feel like in person it does. I don't think you guys noticed, but um, my eyes aren't like a perfect like teardrop leaf shape. It kind of like, it opens really big and then it droops down really fast. So it, it like goes down. And what I do to counter that is I fill in the droopy part with the dark eyeshadow too, to kind of give it that teardrop effect. 
So now it kind of looks like my eyes aren't super droopy because when they are droopy and I don't have any makeup on, people ask me if I'm crying all the time and I'm not. It's just like when I rest my face, that's what it looks like. And I think it has something to do with the shape of my eyes. So I've started to fill in that little gap with brown eyeshadow to make it kind of look like I am awake and not sad. Um, anyway, so now I'm going to take the liquid eyeliner after I have went in with the powdered eyeliner. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the little end tiny one the more precise end and then i'm going to create a wing what people don't tell you is that with asian eyes we look better with straight eyeliner so if you see those beauty influencers and their eyeliners are like going up we don't look good with those like i'm sorry it took me a while to accept that but us asian girls we do not look good with that so you really just gotta like stay with your straight eyeliner that looks the best on our eye shape and right now i am just dragging out my eyeliner and then what i do i always use my fingers um what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take my nail and then i'm just gonna smudge it out and keep in mind i'm not smudging it upward i'm smudging it to the side because we do not look good when it goes up i've learned this from watching many K dramas and analyzing many many TikTok videos, just do not don't make it go up unless you're like going to like Coachella and you're going to like a big party, then you can do it. But for everyday natural makeup, just straight eyeliner is the way to go. I promise. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with the same Tom Ford Disco palette, and instead of using this brown shade, I'm gonna go in with the sparkly shade. It has a layer of sunscreen over it. I could just try to get it off, and I have done that before, but what ends up happening is I end up building that sunscreen up there again. So I've just kind of left it out of there. But um, if it does bother you, you could always remove it. So I'm just going to go in with the fluffy brush and then I'm going to dip it in there kind of like this. And then I'm going to put it in the inner corner to the middle of my eyes and this just kind of gives it like a little sparkle. And then I go in with my eyebrows. It's so hard for me to do eyebrows because I still haven't figured out what exactly I want to do with my eyebrows. I used to go in with this flat brush and it was really good for a while, but then I realized that I couldn't really control where the product is going. And so then I started to use this tiny brush. I don't know. It's, I don't think it's an eyebrow brush. It's called an accent brush according to what it says. So I'm going to go in with another shade of brown. It's called Ashes. It's right here. It's on the Urban Decay Heat Palette. And the reason why I use brown on my eyebrows and not black, which is my natural eyebrow color, is because my hair is brown. And if my eyebrows are black, it looks kind of black. So I'm just going to go in with this brown shade. And then what I do with my eyebrows is I line the bottom first. And then I fill it in. And then once you get toward like the middle of your eyebrow, you really want to fluff that out and you don't want a perfect rectangle because then it won't look natural. And then what I love about this brush is you can really get that precise like little eyebrow tail at the end. I'm just going to do that again with my other one. What I do is I line the bottom, making sure that this middle part is super fluffy and doesn't look too squared out. And then take this eyeshadow again and just drag it out a little bit for that little tail and i like that little tail because it really frames my face because my eyebrows are so straight that if i just draw a little tail i can like make it go down a little bit and then what i have to do is i'm gonna go back to my eyes i know this is like super wonky but i go back to my eyes and i use an eyelash curler i'm just gonna curl my lashes and i've said this in previous videos when i curl my lashes i try to curl it this way so that the the lashes at the ends of my eyes go up higher. And another thing with eyelashes is I like to use Asian products for eye eyelashes. Why? Because I have Asian hair. And there's a difference. With Asian hair, it's very fine and thin. So if you use like an American or a European mascara, it's too heavy for our Asian lashes. So they're going to droop down and that's why your lashes aren't going up. I use um, the Hair and Make Long and Curl Mascara and this is an Asian, it's a Japanese brand. So it's super thin and it really does make a difference with lashes when you're trying to make them stay up. 
kind of like that and then sometimes i would accidentally i can't even talk accidentally get some mascara on my eyeshadows and i just like wipe it off so then all that's left to do is contour cheeks and lips so hello, let me get comfy for contour, I use the Fenty Beauty Contour Stick, or it's on a match stick, and I'm using number nine. I'm using shade number nine, and what I do is I like to contour my nose, and how I do that is I just draw two lines down my nose. And I like to start from the bottom, because <laughs> I think it's easier to control where your line is. And then, again, no surprise, I use my fingers. And then I take my Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter Duo in the shade Lightning Dust and Fire Crystal. And I go in with the same fluffy brush that I went in with the Tom Ford Sparkly Stuff. I just go in like this, and then I put it on the bridge of my nose. Just like that. I'm gonna go back to this in a second, but I'm gonna do my cheeks first. So I'm gonna take my Rare Beauty blush i just got this it's in the shade of hope guys you really have to be careful with this they were not kidding like i just I, I use that much that can you even see it on camera that much going on my fingers i dab it here and then i have to work really quick with it because it might stick and then you can't work with it anymore and i like to bring my blush all the way up to my eyebrow Really make sure that's blended out otherwise your beauty girl this is this is pigmented um, and then last but not least i take my fenty beauty kilowatt highlighter again and i just go in on my cheeks and then i use my favorite lip product in the entire world it is the nars afterglow lip balm I absolutely love it. It's so hydrating and it's just, it gives you like the perfect amount of shimmer. And I use the shade Dolce Vita. I actually just got a new one because my other one ran out. I just love how natural it looks, but yet it gives me like the perfect shade and glow. So like, it still looks like my natural lips. But there's like a little something something on it, you know? And I hate how like other lip products make my lips very chapped. This one doesn't. It goes on like butter and it's just, I think it's supposed to be a balm, right? Yeah, it's supposed to be a lip balm. I, I love it so much. And voila! That's it! I hope you guys enjoyed my summer get ready with me. I do have more videos coming up. I'm going to travel. But anyway, I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!